My name is Giselle Sosa and this is my partner Andrea Garcia. Today we'll be solving two problems regarding antiderivatives and Rowley's rule. For our first problem we've received, find the antiderivative of 4 raised to t cotangent x over 2 sine squared x dx. Because there is no product or quotient rule, we'll use exponent u to change the function of x to a function of u. As Andrea said, we'll be using exponent u. In our case, u is 3 cotangent x. Immediately following the u, we find the derivative of u, which is du over dx. From past lessons, we know that cotangent x is changed to negative cosecant squared x when asked to find the derivative. However, we cannot ignore the negative or the 3, so we bring the negative in front of the 3. Now we have du over dx is equal to negative 3 cosecant squared x. To further simplify, we decided to take negative cosecant squared x and use trig identity rules and make negative cosecant squared x into 1 over sine squared x. As I said before, we can't ignore the 3, so we bring the negative 3 in front of the equation, making it du over negative 3, 1 over sine squared x dx. To completely isolate the du, of course, we divide by negative 3. Therefore, du becomes du over negative 3. Now we're going to compare. Because we have a constant of 2, we can get that out and we have 1 half antiderivative, and then we can plug the 4 and put u times or du over negative 3, which is equals to 1 over sine 2 x dx, which is our half that we have here. So we multiply that, then du over negative 3. Because we want to use this formula, that is antiderivative a times the power of x times dx equals ax over ln of a plus c, we will multiply 1 over 3 times 1 over 2, which gives us 1 over negative 6. Then we bring down the antiderivative, and we put 4u du. Now we have it in the way we want it, so we can get the actual answer. So we put 1 over negative 6. When we, when we plug in this function, we will get rid of the antiderivative and the du. So it will be 4u over ln of 4, which is a, plus c. Now we can plug in on the u its actual meaning, that it's tricotangent x. Time, divided by ln of 4 plus c. To get the actual answer, we have to multiply 1 times 4 times its exponent, that is 3 cotangent x, divided by negative 6 ln of 4 plus 6, and this is the actual answer. Now we'll move on to... Now we'll be working on our second problem. Our second problem regards Rowley's rule. For Rowley's rule to be applicable, there are three conditions. Is it continuous, is it differentiable, and is f of a equal to f of b? In our case, f of a is negative two, and f of b is three. So as I said before, our first condition is, is it continuous? negative 2, 3. In our case, yes it is. For our second condition, it is, is it differentiable at negative 2, 3? Of course, this is also yes. Our third condition is, is f of a, in our case, negative 2, equal to f of
of B, in our case, 3. So, for f of negative 2, we will be substituting negative 2 in all the x values. So, it is negative 2 raised to 2 plus 6 negative 2 minus 3. This equation is overall equal to negative 11. For our second part of condition 3, we'll be substituting 3 into all the x values. 3 raised to the power of 2 plus 6 times 3 minus 3 is equal to positive 24. Referring back to condition 3, it was asking us if the two equations were equal. In our case, they weren't because negative 11 is not equal to 24. So our overall conclusion is that Rowley's rule is not applicable because it fails condition 3. So Rowley's rule, rule not applicable fails condition 3. Is our final answer. For our second part of the same equation, we have to find c in order for the mean value of theorem to be true. So I'm going to erase some part of this because I need space. And our conditions are practically the same, but it changes in number three. Our conditions in number three, it has to be f prime of c equals f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a. So because we know f of a equals negative 11 and f of b equals 24, we don't have to do everything because we're working with the same formula. So now we have to find f of a over b is equal to 24 so it's 24 minus 11, because a minus and a minus, it, com it becomes positive. So it's plus 11 over b, which is 3, minus, which becomes positive, 2. Because we have f prime c, we will find the derivative of f of x. So this is equals to 2x plus 6. Here we're working with x, but we have to work with c. So over here, we will plug 2c plus 6 equals 24 plus 11, which is 35, 35 divided by 5 equals 7. So we have this 2c plus 6 equals to 7. Because we want to find c, we will change and divide by 2. So because this is 1 over 2, we end up c equals 1 half. And that's your final answer for part B. We are now done with both of our problems. We hope you enjoyed our presentation. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, Can you hold this and give it to Mark to uh, for? Oh yeah, I'm gonna go back to the.